Hey guys, what's cooking? This is Matt from Alpha Matt Fitness, and I'm coming at you today with a video that is true from my life experience and true from heart. And I kind of want to give you guys some pieces of advice that I've learned uh, through my 33 long years on this earth um, and what I've seen and witnessed and what I've experienced myself. And that is that the concept of an easy life is not one which you want. We all say, well, why couldn't my life just be easier? Why, why, why wasn't I born into a rich family, for example? Why wasn't I given a million dollars? Why don't I just win the lottery? Why can't I just have good luck? Why do bad things have to happen to me? And oftentimes we look back and we think, man, if that bad thing would not have happened to me, or if I would have done this differently, then I would be much happier today. I'll be much more successful today. My life would be much better. The truth is, an easy life doesn't lend itself to giving you the experiences necessary and the challenges necessary to grow as a person, to become stronger, to become better, and to learn from those experiences. A life free of adversity is a life not worth living, is a life that doesn't challenge you or teach you to become stronger. Um, there's this one guy named Radu Antonio, and I'll actually link him in the description box below. This guy is an amazing YouTuber. Him and Mario Tomic actually do, did a seminar earlier, and I'll link the video below, um, where Radu actually was asked, if you guys could do something differently in your life and go back, what would you do? And his answer was absolutely nothing, because his answer was the experiences and the challenges and the knowledge that he learned throughout the years from those experiences brought him to where he is now. And he also came up with an analogy where a butterfly um, starts as a caterpillar, it goes into a cocoon, and in the cocoon it grows. And when time comes, it breaks out of that cocoon. Um, it actually grows into a butterfly inside the cocoon and it fights and it fights and it fights. It struggles for hours or days or whatever, however long it is, and then it finally breaks free and it flies away. If you went and cut that cocoon open early, he mentioned, and he let the butterfly out earlier, you are not lending it any favors because it doesn't, the thing is it will actually die a few hours later is what he said. And the reason why is it did not earn the right to go out of that cocoon. It did not fight inside. The fighting actually builds up the strength and the ability to survive in the wild. So if that, if that butterfly escapes out of that cocoon or is let out early, it will die a few hours later. This is just like life. Adversity, challenge, and a tough life make you stronger and give you the tools, the ability, experience, and foresight to become a better person and to strive for more in life. I've been through a hell of a lot of bullshit in my life. A lot of people um, have been through worse, uh, but I've been through a lot of bullshit myself, uh, dealing with people and, their, and a lot of stuff. Uh, where I felt, I'm not going to go into the video here because I don't want to, I'm not trying to get pity here, uh, but I've been through a lot of stuff with the, the divorce, with finances, with the money, with family, um, feeling underappreciated, uh, getting the short end of the stick, but I've worked hard and I've learned from those experiences and I'm trying not to be bitter about things, um, but I try my best and those things have caused me to become stronger and a better person. So next time you wish for a, a good, easy, lucky life, Remember, it's not an easy life which you want. It's life at adversity because those, ad, that life of adversity will provide you with challenges. And those challenges, by succumbing, by overcoming those challenges, you'll become a better, stronger, and more enlightened person for it. So I hope this video helped. If you like, please like, subscribe, uh, subscribe and below. And until next time, guys, keep killing in the gym.